All right, hello, Aquarians here. I'm going to. I'm gonna stop saying here. I want to do um your moon phase cards. I'm gonna do two monology cards because two. The number two is representing the moon. That number is. I'm gonna do seven of your energy. Look at number seven, and that's an angelic number seven. And I'm gonna do two major arcanas. I'm going to clarify them with the minus here. I'm going to pick two because I'm, yeah, I'm doing a moon reading. Two is representing the moon, okay? All right. It's going to be okay. Okay. It's going to be okay. Let's see what you got. Aquarius. You got the south mood. Don't let your past hold you back. It's a lot of stuff in your past you keep dragging into your future or into the now. And it's actually making you feel like, because I feel like you're getting an episode that has a lot to do with things in the past. It's like you're thinking about it. It's like you start thinking about it and you start talking about it and it drags you down. You don't need to do that, okay? If it's in the past, keep it back there unless you're trying to recapture something. Like talking about good old days, not the other Aquarians here. There's all your cards flying everywhere. New Moon and Scorpio. Work through your fears. I feel like you're nervous about something. You don't have to be. That's what's making you scared. That's what's making your nerves go because you aren't you can't control everything okay i don't care if you got a lot of money or a lot of whatever you can't control everything you have to let things just flow and go here all the way they are and just take in that deep breath and let it back out where we learn every day we don't fail because we're learning that's why we can't, we don't fail. Because, well, how could you fail? The only time you fail is when you just give up. Alright? And that's not what you're doing. I feel like you're dealing with, um... Someone's, someone keeps bringing you back to those days when, I don't know if you were, something you were doing and you just don't want to go back there anymore. But you keep bringing up the subject of it. Aquarians here. Let's see. Yep, this is the chariot. It's a chariot. Yes. I have to let this out. It's going to be three because I said two. The reason why I'm letting that out because you almost have the death card, and this is almost like death card of tower, and you have a full card. Something you're trying to start over, Aquarius. You're trying to do new, and I feel like you're talking to the right people, or um, it's like you're trying to you're trying to make something new for yourself, make yourself feel better, your body feel better, your life feel better. Okay, let's do the chariot. This came first, and that's good. It's like you're healing from things, and you're running with this. I think you guys are dealing with your health right now, your health and your your, your whole well-being of life, and you're trying to make better for that. Because this doesn't necessarily mean a broken heart. This could mean that these swords are coming out, and you're healing from things. Okay, it depends on what we feel. The psychics feel. I feel like you're healing. The swords are coming out. And it's like, yeah, because all these swords and stuff are coming reversed here. You don't want to hear the conflict here. You just want to go by what you feel is right for your body and your mind. You're like, nope, I don't want that. I want that. I want this. I want that. That's what you want. What the heck is going on? <laughs> all right. Yeah, this five of cups. 
because something is not something. I know something's probably rubbing you the wrong way, but Aquarians don't take stuff too serious. I think you like what is this? What's that? Don't take stuff too serious. You gotta realize some people are either don't know how to do certain things or they're not good at certain things. Everyone's not good at everything. And it's it's like you don't it's like you want you don't want to have any understanding with someone. It's like you want to know why are they doing that. Don't stretch the issue if you don't want to turn things into conflict and you get backed against the wall. Just leave well enough alone. But some people just do things a certain way. Yep, it's two cups here. I feel like you guys are, you like dealing with people, but I feel like you want to get close to a person like a friend. It's like you want a friend, like a new friend or something. Sorry about that. Something's ripping my socks apart. I don't know, I just, I think I'm pulling them. I think you guys just want a friend. You guys want to deal, you like dealing with people, you like talking, converting, you like stuff like that. It's like you want to do that again. You haven't done that in a, in a while. This is someone with the chariot card. Yeah, be careful going back into certain situations again, dealing with certain people. I feel like you got a hand on that. So I feel like you're watching things now. You're aware of your thing about your money and stuff like that. Okay? With that chariot card. It's like you're doing stuff on you're like you're checking up on stuff. You're making sure you're eating right. It's like you're doing that. Slip that out. Some, some of you are side trying to save money and some of you are being creative here. It's like you're trying to find things to keep yourself going here. Whether you got a second job or you doing some redecorating or something and you're also trying to grow your money back again. I don't know what was going on with your money before but it's like you um, you want someone to make sure your stuff is right. According to here, it's like you're doing a lot of changes. You're doing a lot of changes. Okay. We got the fool card here. It's like you want to step out, not go out, but you just want to just feel good again like you did before. It's like you want to do this here because a lot of times when people go through stuff, they're like, I don't want to go through that again. How <laughs> they think like that? All right, let's get your six out for the full card for Aquarians. You guys are finding me back. Ooh. Don't push too much on something because she's got this. And this five of swords. That doesn't look good with that fool card. The reason why they call it the fool card, you see how she's standing like she's tip she's on the tip of the water or something? That means that you're just going into something being optimistic and you're not thinking. Make sure, because it's a time to say things, it's time to do things, it's time to, you know, just make it that time that it's meant to happen. Don't just do anything. Yeah, this came reversed as seven of wands here. Like I, remember I just said don't do anything and look. Your back's going to be against what's going to be against the wall and look you got it's almost like you you feel like everything is okay and you feel like you can just say something and it gets to that I thought everyone's gonna be on my side and you just sit there and you have your say so and something but just be careful with the newfound freedom because you know this is the fool card and it's the reason why they call it that why no one pays attention to why they call it the food part? And then you're ending up, no one cares about me. Oh, well, no, no one's. No, it's not that. It's King Cups here. And you feel like it. Be, just be happy with your peace. Be happy with your newfound happiness. 
don't push anything out there because you know how people are today when you start grabbing on their feelings and you don't know what they're going through. Just be happy with yourself. If they want to say something to you, respond. I'm not saying shut your mouth in your own house or wherever you are, but just you know how people are that you're around. You know how they responded to things before. And this is five of wands here. You're trying, see, you're trying to keep something together, but it's certain things that you say that you feel like, I can say that. Oh, I yeah. am. Sometimes I think you like toying with certain people to see the reaction of them. Sometimes. Yeah, and then it turns into this because you think you did something wrong and you didn't. It just depends on the person you're with. Make sure when you're um, having conversation or saying stuff or talking about something, someone, make sure you know the right person you're talking to. They're okay. You probably know this person too. And you know certain things not to say. I don't know what's going on around here. Oh, I got a fan right in my face. This is the um, the tower card here. Let's see what comes out for that. This could be dealing with health situations, like you want to change some things about this song. It's just something personal you want to do. Yeah, see? This is not want here. This is something you want to change about yourself. It's like you want to feel like I still got it, but I want to make sure I feel it. I don't want to feel down and feel like I still got it. You want to change some things here. This tower card can mean something you want to bring down. Take it down. Let's build up new, and that's what you want to do here. And you want to fix up yourself, see? I said that when I first um, started reading. Yep, you gotta work hard at it. I don't know if you guys are struggling bringing yourself back financially, health-wise, or whatever, but you gotta, it's gonna be some hard work. It's not gonna be that much, but it's gonna be some hard work. Just stay dedicated to it and be around the right person. I feel like you're trying to get your health or something back on track again. It could be something like that. It could be financial, it could be something, you're trying to get yourself back, you're trying to burn away something that was going on, yo, I don't trust that. We got six of wands here, it came reversed, that means, sometimes reverse doesn't necessarily mean bad, it could mean just something, you're just, you're doing this, you're getting started with this, no one has to tell you to do it, you're doing it yourself, okay? Your cards always come out good, it just depends on who you're around. And who you're, you know, who you're dealing with. This is two of pentacles here. Things are, every, you know, as long as I've been on YouTube reading your cards, your cards come out good. You, you, I can't say the other sign, but it, what it is is that you guys are dealing with the people that's not, you're not dealing with the right people that's connected with you. They're not on the, you guys are not on the same page. Because your cards come out, come out like you can have a beautiful life, but it depends on who you're dealing with. See? Your eight of wands. All your, all your, this is coming reversed. Don't rush off in too fast, because I feel like you find out things, you're like, oh, I'm going to go get that, or I'm going to go do that, you don't know what it is. Make sure it's right for you, okay? Make sure it's right for you. Yeah, Ace of Swords. You got that reverse. Someone you're not dealing with anymore, you're not talking to them, or if you do talk to them, you know how to keep it short. You know how to just cut things now with this person. Just a second. Yeah, you're starting to cut the conversation short with this person here as you see how they are. Yep. And you're trying to get yourself together. That sounds good. I think your reads, your reads always sound good. It just, it, like I said, it depends on who you're dealing with. All right, let's do your seven energies. I was supposed to, oh my God, I was supposed to went to someone's house and brought them something. No, 
offense, they want to answer the phone, so I'm not doing anything. Just a second. Okay, let's see what you got. So I'm going to get seven out of here for you. Ooh, look. Hey, money. Okay, just going on with that. I'm going to get out your cards because this is something. Cause I think I'm, I'm sitting in this chair wrong because when you're doing this, and you're like, because I'm kind of tall and I'm kind of sitting there. It's making my arm hurt. Even though I went to the gym today, it's probably what it is. <laughs> I was at the gym today. Using those muscles extra. Be careful. This is walking away. Let me get your cards out just a second. All right, Aquarians, you got your cards out. You got daughter romance. No, oh, money came out first. I feel like you guys want to, you want to keep your money in a certain way like you want to have money where you can go in just a second it's sticky you want to keep your money where it's in a certain place where you can go in and out and get whatever you want because i feel like he was doing a little spending is you're like you're trying to play catch up here or you're trying to make sure your finances is okay while you're dealing with such whatever you're doing Because it's like now you're feeling like you can just go in there and get stuff because you're saving or something you're not dealing with anymore. And this is during a romance here. It's like you want that back. You want to feel that again. But right now you're still taking baby steps with other things that you're dealing with, okay? You're not trying to rush into any romance situation. You want it, but you're like, I got it, I get it, but I just... You know, you're just trying to take your time with things here. This is walking away from... I, I feel like this is walking away from bad habits or certain things that... It's like you're writing down things or you're thinking about things that you want to do different for yourself. You're trying to make better, okay? You're trying to make better. I'm sorry if I don't dig deep into the cards, but, you know, you can't stay on here all day. You know what's going on with yourself. Right, okay? And this is healing here. A lot of you are healing. Did I read you guys? Oh, that was another sign. I, I was thinking about this. You're healing beautifully. Okay, what the problem is, is just the people you're around, are they supporting you on this? Because sometimes you just do things on your own. You just go on ahead. <laughs> you just do it. I didn't want to turn the air on today. It's not, it's breezy, but that sun is, it is. This is anxiety here. I feel like it's something you're doing, you want to do it with yourself, but you're almost feeling like, I need some support. It's like you don't like doing things by yourself. You do, but you want someone else to talk for, not talk for you, but talk with you. Like, agree with you, with another person. Like, yeah, isn't that right? And they're like, yeah, you know, like you need someone to say that. And it's now you're dealing with a situation where you have to deal with talk with you by yourself. I'm going to pray on that for you. You can pray for yourself. I don't know why people don't pray. Because I feel like you... That's why I said it's like not all you occurrence. It's like you get to that good point in your life and you want to start doing something and it's just not the right time. to do it. No, <laughs> it's not. I didn't mean it. Well, that's just a nerve. This is door to spirit. You, didn't I say pray? Pray on certain things. Because I feel like you guys get in that gut mode and you just feel like you got that power to start talking. And who are you talking to? And is it the right time to even say what you just said? I know some of you do that. Your cards do, your cards do come out good, but it's certain, certain things that you say and do, it's at the wrong time. You're like, what? And it's like, you gotta find someone to agree with you, and it's like, I'm not getting it. I'm 
I'm sorry it came out like that. I just felt that. This is man holding coin here. Like I said, um, uh, let's talk about finances here. And this man holding coin. There's a tag in my bag. I knew it was something. I feel like you guys are controlling your finances better and you can go in there and get stuff when you feel like it. Not just a lollygag, but just, you know, important things here. It's like you have that time for some reason to do that now. Because at first it was money just blowing out the window. And now you're taking advantage of um, that whatever you can do now. It's like you, you paid up stuff and you don't have to loan out this and you're taking care of that okay make sure you keep that up because i feel like if you keep that up you're going to want to buy something it's going to be good for you it's going to make you happy you know you don't have to buy a bunch of stuff it could be one thing that you just need to make you happy that's you know sometimes when you have money people make good investment because Investments could be redecorating your home, it could be doing something with your car, um, it could be doing something with your health, your, you know, your health, yourself, joining a gym, you know, doing things that are, you know, that's why I said when you save up money, you know, make the best investment, not just buying lally gagging with your money, okay, Aquarians here. Um, I hope you guys subscribe. Um, I appreciate it, but if you guys don't understand, say anything about the read, but yeah investing that's what that's what yours should be about yours should say you're investing in good about yourself okay keep that up don't let anyone hinder it but watch what you say okay Ooh. all right i came home from the gym and just started reading <laughs> i just felt that's why i said when i read i just feel it and i just do it all right you guys take care of yourself you want to subscribe you can i appreciate that very much thanks for watching you guys be safe take care of yourself Aquarians here okay with your money, right? You got a lot of investments to do because you're trying to uplift yourself, you know, get something started new. You guys, thanks for watching. I see you guys. All right, bye now.